This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Shining Force CD. In the last episode, we went up the hill towards Cyphers, defeating the Minotaur and, uh, or not the Minotaur, whatever the upgrade version of the Minotaur is. And now we've uh, been told that he's there's some ceremony going on about summoning some power, and we think it's Eom or Iom or however you pronounce it. And uh, looks like we got a couple things to do: find out if any of the rest of the Shining Force have survived and defeat. Um, you know, Walden before Walden, whatever, before he beats this thing. So let's continue on. Uh oh, who's this? It. Too bad I can't uh, put a t tinny voice on my body. It was rude of you to keep me waiting, Nick. Still, I heard that you did to Tantum, so you must have some skill. Show me what you've learned. And then I'll show you how it's done. Come here to die. Anyway, we've got to fight against uh, this guy, whoever he is. So let's uh, look at... Oh, we've got some new enemies. The Assassins. The upgraded, uh, upgraded of the... Uh, I've forgotten all the other figures, like... <laughs> uh, uh, of, like, what their previous counterparts are. It is, okay, I'm just looking up something really quick. Uh, let's see. I've right, got some golems. Nothing on you, nothing too bad here, especially our... Oh, I did some level grinding off screen, so... Most of my people are at least eight or higher. Um, anyway, we've got some more new enemies. The Wyverns, or Wyverns, or whatever. I think it's supposed to be Wyverns, but I could be wrong. Got a dual hand just hiding up there. He's like, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, ooh, we got an evil bishop with a white wing. A <laughs> white, right wing. White ring. Uh, if you equipped it, it gives plus ten to your defense. It can, uh, and, uh, can cast aura too. Uh, as far as I know, I think the only people who can actually equip it are the hero char hero characters or vicars, so Mayfair or uh, Nick, currently. Uh, we've got Geppel, or Jeppel, Giebel? Uh, uh, nice defense there. He's got the Axe of Atlas when, when we defeat him, as long as you obviously have an extra slot. Uh, it's the most powerful axe in book one for gladiator characters, uh, so you make sure want to make sure to get that. Um, oh, it also casts Blaze 3 when you use it in combat, so it's a nice little axe for those characters so they can actually use some magic. And i got a couple of Chimera here. Ooh. I think they can breathe fire like uh, the Cerberuses can, if I recall. Um, yeah, so the White Ring, that, and the chest over there, which is a Cursed Iron, the Dark Sword. Um, any of the sword users, like uh, Screech, Claude, or Nick can use it, but like I said, it's Cursed. But it comes with uh, your free uh, free topping. Um, now, there's one more secret here, but I, I vaguely... I'm trying to remember which one it's under. Well, we'll find out here in a second, so... Um, it's probably the next one up. But, uh, all right, well, time to uh, head up. This move... Oh, yeah, like, a uh, good deal people are either level 10 or level 9. I think stock was technically level 10 when I finished the last episode, but... Because I just reloaded up an old file and uh, and just did it from that file, so some of my stats uh, might be slightly different, but it shouldn't affect it so much that you know that you couldn't re maybe not so much recreate it, but it won't affect the battle that that badly. Uh, I think you guys shoot. I think you can. I think technically you can shoot three. They had got to go up to level 10. But unfortunately, his stats still aren't as good as a... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Gethel or Jeeple or whatever. First boss to have a... Uh, I, actually, I think it's the first boss we've run across that has the green bar. Which is basically just... Uh, his HP is over 100. Not over 9,000. No, 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 nothing to yell about. But. Is it here? Oh, it is here. Okay. Uh... The second sec secret character of book two uh, will surprise you. Uh, or book one, I mean. There's more secret characters just in book one, so. Yay, we found Amigo! But that's Spanish for friend. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's a female uh, jellyfish. Wow, you found me out. But I'm happy to have friends to play with. How old are you? We're the world. No more fighting. I'll see you later.
I don't know. I like the fact that the Super Seeker characters have, like, guitar riffs. Uh, but yeah, she's basically a female Domingo. I think her stat list, or her spell list is different. I tend not to use her just because we get her so late, and I've already been using Domingo enough as it is, and I... Uh, but that's up to you if you want to. I, I think, yeah, I think her spell list is slightly different than, um... Uh, let me see. Well, they'd be able to hit neck either way. Uh, I'll show you whenever we get, obviously, after the battle's over, so... Uh, now we got Nick level 10. Um, the suggested level to have by the end of this, if you want a pretty easy going of things, would be um, uh, level 13. Uh, like I said, you don't have to, but uh, ooh, it was a one shot of the assassin. This is what we get for level grinding. But I love doing it so well. It depends. Grinding's fine in some games. Some games it can be like a real chore. In other games, it's just kind of like something to like. Cool, cool you down while you're just kind of like. Yeah, probably best to finish them off. Because um, sometimes uh, grinding can be kind of calming if you're just kind of wanting something to just repetitive nature. But then there's other games where it's just like, Ugh, why am I doing this? You know, this ain't fun. So, in this game, it's actually not that bad. So, at least I didn't think it was that bad to grind on like other games. It's probably the worst and probably old, old. Uh, Nintendo games and computer games about grinding. Most modern games. Well, hmm, depends on what you play, I guess. Anyway. I'll just keep going forward. Yeah, Sig's like one of the few that I haven't uh, gotten to. Uh, you know what? A little less, less thing I have to worry about. Faith that, you've been hit by the wind. Or Mighty Wind. Mighty Wind comes. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting Domingo cannot, can't fly through, like, um... Do I even have any magic that'll hit him from there? I do. But do I want to cast, really want to cast? Oh, yeah, uh, Domingo at level 9 or something got to Soul, which, um, it has the off chance of, like, randomly, immediately killing the, uh, um... The uh, opponent or the person cast on, but the thing is, it's not guaranteed to work. So there you go. But I understand the the death ability not working regularly because it's a one shot KO type of. So the fact, you know, I wouldn't want the I wouldn't want the, like the main bad guy of the game who can cast it to to have it work 100% of the time. So to me, there was no way to like affect those abilities, like you know, another. Um, like items or abilities that will allow you to like, oh hey, this class specifically, their percentage actually hit you with this stat afflicting spell. Uh, what what? Why didn't you cast a spell? I knew you were there because I had I had Mayfair. So if it really came down to it, I could have just healed everyone. But oh, apparently can't fly. Apparently this wall is too high, so you can't fly over it. So oh well. Yeah, might as well get rid of the person who's standing in our way, so. Take that, scribble scum. Yeah, best get rid of the glitch. Yeah, it's crazy how Nick can almost like one shot these demon masters at this point. Oh, finally give Sig and maybe Oh wait, you were not gonna finish off on Oh. I didn't think you did enough strength, because you're not as strong as uh, Cray is, so... Yeah, I, can't, I keep having trouble getting Sig-like levels for whatever reason. Uh, I forgot what she was... I'm trying to remember if Freeze it will do enough damage. I don't think Blaze does. I think Freeze will do enough damage. Because yeah. I think Blaze ends up doing only 6 to her, if I recall. move too far ahead, though. Yeah, I'll probably have Claude go after that chest whenever I can get him, like, over there. Oh, yeah, well, I'll do. Attack the assassin. How's it feel? Oh, wow. Yeah, we have the halberd. I don't know if I mentioned it. It's a little bit stronger than the, obviously, a little bit stronger than the, um, uh, his previous weapon, the, or no, not halberd. Oh, wait, maybe. No, he had the halberd before. And now he has the, uh, was it Valkyrie or? Hold on. I'm always forgetting, like, 
The Valkyrie. The Valkyrie, yeah. That, uh, it's a ranged weapon. But anyway. Um. Uh, ooh, yeah, I hit before. You, that's it. You, 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 you. Should heal you the power of blind magic. Is it different from regular magic? No, only that you can't see. Yeah, it's kind of weird in this fight that the boss the character's like pretty much right there. Like you could just go straight into it and just finish him off, you know, before even any of the other character. Wait, this game is weird sometimes. We can't fly past the walls here, but we can fly to that. Gotcha. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I forgot the wyverns can do ice breath. Yeah, break through defense and all that fun stuff. Great. Yeah, it's like one of the few battles where, you know, the enemy boss is like right there if you just want to charge on in. You do it within a handful of turns, but we gotta beat everyone. We gotta you know, take them all out. No man left, or no creature left alive. Ow. Yeah, these guys are nasty against your high defense units, but luckily we have enough, uh, enough healers and so forth and so on. And, well, I want to make sure that, even though it would be better to just leave in there to heal it, heal by Mayfair, I want to, or you can just one-shot the wiper. This might not be a bad place to do more level grinding if you want to get everyone a level play for level 13. Uh, like I said, suggested. How can you block the sword of the mighty hero? I don't believe it. This is probably got one shot of two. Yep. That's what you get for flying on in and uh, trying to freeze us with your breath. I'm trying to Superman us over here. Heal Cray. I almost wonder if his name was supposed to be Clay, just because of the weird translation. Because Cray sounds like an odd name. And again, there's probably someone out there called Cray, so... Although isn't Cray used... Nah, never mind. Yeah, since I haven't been able to hit her with much of anything, I might as well just go all out. Yeah, the problem is, uh... In this case, a lot of the uh, meleeers are kind of just overshadowing the magic users. Even the magic can break through defense, but depending on what level you are, it's just like... And I've noticed, even though I, I could either go straight to the boss, like some of the flyers, like those chimeras, aren't even coming after me yet, which they should be, you know. So I'm going to have to spend a few turns just uh, flying over there, you know, just to get the chest. I mean, I could skip it, I guess, but Sork could sell for a decent amount of money, even though, by level grinding, I have plenty of money that I'll never have to worry about that for the rest of the game. Yeah, I've just got to kind of set everyone up and then wait for my flyers to... Because I think Geppel or Geppel or whatever... I don't think he'll attack you until you go past the bridge. And then he'll, like, actually actively charge you. And you took a while, Dullahan. You're Dulla not awesome. I don't know. <laughs> now you're not even a threat. That's usually how it is in these games. I really gotta stop giving the range characters all the, all, all the uh, like kills, you know, because they always seem to go like fa just fast enough to where they pretty much finish everyone off, and all the other characters are like, but I wanted a level, or I wanted some experience. Nice, got you level ten finally. Yeah, I had trouble getting some of the wizards to level ten, just because it wasn't that long it took that type of thing. Oh yeah, smack him. I was I was thinking of like, what should I do? I'm like, oh right, I can punch him. Critical hit for 14, even though there's some people that do like 30 damage by themselves. If you weren't a healer, Sig, I would have uh, dumped you a long time ago. Because Cray is, even though Cray is like very little MP, he is still the superior punk. I think. Well, we have different priorities. If I was playing on super hard mode, maybe maybe I would be thinking differently about this. 
probably should maybe bring Domingo with uh, with Claude. Just to have uh, some backup against those Chimera. Oh, that's right. I forgot they respawned. Not that that's a big deal. It, it took me like five seconds to finish them off, so... So, we just leave everyone where they are, you know. Yeah, unfortunately, the next couple of turns are going to be me just, like, waiting. Sorry. Got a, I got a hundred, got a hundred percent of man. Now they come. Here they come. Yeah, they're, and they're bundled up close together as well. I, actually, I'm trying to remember, I think the Chimera do have a Wrath weapon, but I think it might be, uh, well, I was about to say random, but I know that, like, maybe it has different breath, oh, there you go. Uh, I was thinking maybe it has different breath attacks or something like that. Like Chimera and, uh, Actually, no, I think at D&D, they don't actually have breath attacks. I think, well, in Dungeon Dragons, anyway, I think they have breath attacks in other forms of media, like, uh... Um... Actually, I'm trying to remember if, uh, in a Dragon's Dogma, if they had a breath weapon. God, I haven't played that game in forever. I remember liking it, and I did a playthrough of it, like, a long time ago. I didn't do it. I don't think I did a very good playthrough of that game, though. Now that I think about it. Okay, he does fire. Because of the dragon head. I was wondering if he had, like, extra, like, breath because of, like, the lion head or the goat head or whatever. But I don't think so. I might as well finish him off because I can't get to the chest now anyway, so. Well, you were scary for, like, five seconds. I mean, that, 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 uh, fire breath hurt. It broke through my defense and everything. All right, one more turn, and then we can bum rush, uh, Gepple, or Jepple, or, oh, was it, uh, no, that's, that's the Jason, I was gonna say Je uh, Jeeple or whatever, but, just wait, 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 just wait for my turn to get that dark sword, even though I don't need it. The respawn enemies would be would be nice for a little grinding if it didn't take them so long to like actually get to the. Yeah, Claude can possess, uh, can use it. And it's decently strength, but it's got the curse feature and everything like that. So yeah, I gotta make sure to. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be putting with the up front. Yeah, you definitely want whoever your mainline fighters are, like uh, Nick. Actually, I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if you have the defense stat enough, high enough for that. One, two, 50. Well, I mean, Apis and Andy over here would be the best options for that. Because they've got high enough defense. And obviously get rid of the bishop if you don't want him healing with his aura 3 ability or whatever. So take you out. Sock should have an extra slot for to equip. Yep, and the white ring. Excellent. We'll probably end up giving that to Nick. Even though Nick's got plenty of defense, but, you know. I mean, I guess I could also give it to Mayfair. That's a... I'm not sure if that's a good look or a bad look. I'm not sure. He looks kind of silly, actually. Kind of almost looks like a chicken. Let me take a look at that again. Yeah, he kind of... I mean, I know what it's supposed to look like, but yeah, he kind of looks like a chicken. What's the spell he cast again? Oh, he's using the Axe of Atlas, so he uses Blaze of Because he himself can't cast magic. But we got Mayfair, so she can. Even if he does that again, that shouldn't kill anyone. Uh, oh, yeah, you're not, you're not strong enough, really. Who are the weak, weakest amount of HP? Probably you, but you can, you can suffer another. But if, I guess if he decided to hit her, she would be done for. But... But if he did the Axe of Atlas again, so... Hopefully he doesn't use the Axe of Atlas too much that it breaks. I don't think they can, but... Yeah, our defense is 42. Yeah, we... Yeah, it'll protect if he, for some reason, decides... Because, he, you know, like most bosses, he goes twice, so... So if he does, like... So he can do at least fit 14 plus. Uh, yeah, might as well go full... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Freeze, see if that does any decent damage. Yeah, not as much as I'd like. I 
guess we're just using you. Oh, actually. Ah, oh, your boost isn't strong enough, or isn't high enough to move it past a certain point. Well, that would have. Ah, oh, but I can't move it. I was about to say, maybe I could move up there, but it's like, nope. Yeah, we'll just boost you, why not? If for some reason you wanted to strike shade or something like that. Man, I haven't been really casting boost that often. I got to level 10, excellent. Yeah, we'll just destroy you. Bit overkill, like they haven't taken hardly that much damage, but... I guess I have enough uh, agility because he hasn't taken a second turn yet. Because sometimes he'll take his turn like back to back. Which that can be pretty heinous. What is your defense though? Uh, loose? Yeah, not as good, but I need you to I need you to get some experience, man. You're a bit behind. You're supposed to be a, pretty much a powerhouse too, but Oh good, Nick has the highest defense in me. Ha ha. I've been leveling up my hero. What have you been doing? You've been doing nothing. I could have them go after the dull hands, but damn. Yeah. Better to just finish the guy off. Wait, who has the white ring again? Did I? You need to stop out of it now. Please, please, please up. Or either that, or if not a chicken, he looks like maybe like a fat man or something like that. Too bad giving them that takes a turn. Oh. Wait, who had a... I thought I saw someone with like no... Oh, that was Claude. Never mind. Do I want to really put him in the wet harm's way? No. Oh, his hell attack isn't strong enough too. I wonder if you can actually dispel him. Probably not. I mean, he doesn't actually cast magic, so if he uses the axe to do it. So. But I was just wondering. Sometimes you can still cast a spell. Well, it might be because he's a boss, too. So there's also that. I guess it's... Oh, uh, wait. Do you have... Yeah, see. Um, and it, like I said, also cast for a... Uh, oh. I was going to attack him, but now I realize I don't have a out of room and I want that axe, so I will... I might just drop that antidote, actually. <coughs> oh, I can still attack afterwards. Okay, cool. For some reason I thought you couldn't uh, move after doing that. Yep, and we'll give that to uh, Bruce. Well, you weren't much of a threat. Dantum and the others taught you well. But you won't find Bazoo and Frabelle so easy to conquer. Waldo has enhanced their strength. Bye. Then there'll be more interesting a challenge. Come on, let's go get him. Get him! Get him, Ray! I don't know about that, but... There he is, the Waldo himself. Wald yeah. You are too late, my friends. The summoning is done. Eon's evil creature waits in the next room. You can no longer stop me. But, I mean, why'd you come out to say that? You could have just done it. We would have, like, forced ourselves. We would have been like, oh, we got plenty of time. What the? Wait, we killed you. Oh, no, wait, he disappeared, right. But, uh, you're looking a little green around the gills, aren't you, my friend? Uh, I forgot what voice I gave him. So, Nick, we meet again. Or did I give him the, oh, so, Nick, we meet again. It will be my pleasure, too. What? What's what's going on? More? Wait, that one lady we didn't actually fight? Oh, hey, not so fast, Bazoo. He's mine. If she wasn't carrying a huge halberd, I would say that was sexy. But no. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we got two bosses for that. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that right now because uh, I'm scared. So we're gonna run away. Oh! And uh, <laughs> back to happy music. But uh, anyway. So let me go ahead. Well, I mean, we're not going to start. We're going to do that next episode. So anyway, let's give the Axe of Atlas to Roos. Um, 
I would say there's really no reason to keep it, just because no one else can use the axe. I mean, I guess you could, obviously, if you were going to use uh, another gladiator, like uh, uh, Gates, that wouldn't be bad. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... We'll leave the axe on it, just because it can cast Blaze 2 or something like that, but uh, yeah, a little bit stronger, but yeah, the Blaze 3 is definitely the big... We already, ca uh, we already equipped the right wing, the white ring. <laughs> Do you have the wing? Uh, okay, let me, let's talk to uh, our newest member that just kind of was hiding in a bush. Did I talk to Randolph last episode? That scar, merely evidence. Oh, yeah, we, we know about that. Uh, but, yeah, she's also a magic creature similar to Domingo. Actually, let me look at her stats. 29, 30, 29. And he's only, like, one level higher. Yeah, he was, he's already, I mean, wait, she's, she's level 5 and he's level... Oh, okay, he's level 10. I was about to say, uh, for some reason, I was like, man, her stats are pretty crappy. Um, no, sure, stats aren't bad. Would five more levels really make her that much better? Uh, nah, at that point, I think we've already chosen. But uh, let's see, she gets... Well, she's basically, it looks like a healing magic user, because she gets a boost in aura and hell, which would be, wouldn't be be bad to um, put in a team if you want to swap out, like, a... Uh, since Sig, well, let's see. Let me think about this. Her MP is 30. What's Sig's MP at? 35. So his MP is slightly better. Um, not by much, though. Because if you didn't, didn't mind having, like, a secondary healer, uh, of course, Aura does ca cost 7 or 11 MP, which means you'd only be able to cast, like, uh, Aura 2 twice or Aura 3, like, like uh, four times. She had more MP. I think she would. She wouldn't be a bad option to swap out Sig just because I'm hardly getting Sig in there to attack stuff or whatever. So I might consider putting her in just to, like I said, have a a, a healer that can do because he can't do ranged healing or he can't do like you know or like Mayfair can. So it'd be nice to have a secondary Mayfair in the group. Anyway, what does she say? To achieve real peace, we must. Oh, is she a hippie? <laughs> <laughs> a hippie talking jellyfish that's somehow related to Domingo in some way? We don't know. They never they never talk to each other. There's no, like, a headquarters area where they all the characters talk to each other. If this was made today, they would probably have a, a conversation about that at some point. But, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're... We've got our new jellyfish party. We can shop at whatever. And in the next episode, a Shining Force CD will tackle two of our old companions. They've been leveled up and improved uh, but can we defeat them well we'll find out so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time